I don't, I don't have any music training. They asked me to leave the choir because my voice didn't fit in. A couple of friends, we made a little demo tape and we gave it to the radio station. And uh, a friend uh, played it in the middle of the night. And people phoned in and said, um, we like that, can we hear it again? And, and they put it on the A-list and next thing I had a career in the music business. That was it. We took records down to Virgin. And they phoned the next day and said, we need more records. So we came down with 50 records. They phoned the next day and said, we need more records. And we were like, and so the next thing we sold about 3,000 albums. And that was, that's how I kind of, that's what showed me that I could do it. You know what I mean? That that I, it wasn't, it didn't need a record label. All it needed was a decent song on the radio and, and the ability to get them into shops. It has changed a bit these days. It wouldn't be quite that easy. I mean, I did try to sell my music to labels and you know that publishing deal that I did, I was more than happy to do that at the time. Right? When I found out what it meant later, when I found out that I'd lost my songs forever, then I wasn't so happy. But it, you know, when someone's waving a check, you don't read the fine print. And I learned by experience that that's not always the best way. Back then when I was starting out, when, I mean, I, was, uh, I used to go up to a local studio and it was like 15 pounds for an hour. And we did the whole record in two days. And I thought, I wonder how hard it is to do this. And a friend lent me some money and I went and I bought a little thing that they called a studio killer. And I, I bought this little thing called a Roland 1680. And I bought a couple of mic preamps and a mic and uh, plugged it all in when I got home. And I made a record in my bedroom. And, um, and I was able to sell the record to a, a label for 12,000 pounds. And I was thinking, this is a good job. There was another pile of tracks left over. I sent them to a friend in Nashville and he had a thing called Pro Tools, which was like the big pro system. And he sent all the tracks back to me and I didn't have Pro Tools. So I had to go and buy Pro Tools to decode what he had given me. And that's when I got into the, the real pro end. Because we've built up the gear, we've effectively become every part of a label. Um, I write the songs, I record the songs, I produce the songs, I hire the artist, I approve, I hire the photographer, I star in the pictures, I pick the pictures, <laughs> I then, uh, and then I, I make the record, I record the record, I mix the record, I um, send the record off to be manufactured, to be mastered, get that back, I approve the master, I then send it to be manufactured. Um, I get the manufactured copies, my wife and I, we parcel them up, she posts them out and I get into writing the press releases to sell them. So from beginning to end and everything in between, I'm involved in every aspect of what I do. And then you get guys who come along and they say, but now you need to be an internet genius as well and spend all your time in my space. And, and it's like, dude. There's only 24 hours in a day. So, I mean, I think, I think, you know, it does work for us, but it's a busy, busy thing. Mm -hmm.